we're 100% for our community. The Luzerne County Emergency Management Agency. The more they know about us and what we do, the better we could serve them. They, of course, respond to disasters. For example, flooding. Their main duties revolve around lending a helping hand. Just the support. We are a support function, so really, it can't really, you know, obviously the power plant's a huge part of it. The hazardous materials, a huge part. The daycares, the nursing homes, the hospitals, all the risk facilities, it's a huge part of it. But overall, it's just a support. Saving the day falls on the shoulders of Luzerne County EMA Director Lucy Morgan and her three-man team. I started very, about six, seven months ago. And uh, I was tasked with doing the, what they call the planning as far as for nursing homes, daycares, hospitals, any type of a risk facility. Also, the uh, dams that are in the area, and now the municipal plants. I'm working with them also. If there's a chemical spill or that, uh, we have to have a way to, to uh, respond to it and make sure that the facility knows how they're going to respond to it, to, to cancel it, to stop it. Primarily, I'm uh, Lucy's deputy, and then we do a lot of training and exercises here, so I help conduct the, uh, the training and exercise program here. Um, also, I am a radiological response officer for the county, and we support and respond to any emergencies that the nuclear power plant, uh, Susquehanna Steam Electric Station, may have. Together, they keep Luzerne County prepared in case disaster strikes. They've been there from the start. You may have seen them on the scene of the massive flood from 2011 or the tornado that ripped through Wilkes-Barre Township in 2018 or in the winter when ice jams the river. We're low right now, but you, do, you can see it's going to crest a little bit at 13.7. Luzerne County EMA is ready to answer the call when any type of disaster strikes. They spend a great deal of time preparing and training for natural disasters and other emergencies. A new command vehicle will make the job much easier. We can have a conference in here, then go out. We have a uh, awning that goes out off to the side of the vehicle. Then we can meet underneath it, and uh, people can get together and talk under there and disperse their groups, say a police, fire, or EMS. They could have their own little individual meetings and disperse from there. While they have been on the scene of many natural disasters over the years, Morgan says the team's biggest challenge is the pandemic pandemic being so new every day it seemed like something changed every day and we were er like yearning for the information because you know we did we went through h1n1 and we did mass vaccination clinics and it was no problem this was a totally different animal at the end of the day whether it be an issue on a global scale or just right here in luzerne county morgan and her team vow to be ready whenever a disaster strikes for the Severe Weather Handbook, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News.